Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 20th. My goodness. Uh, beautiful day here in Southeastern Pennsylvania. I'm off to a exceptionally slow start this Sunday, but such is life. Uh, we'll talk more about my my mess of things that I gotta do today later. But um, <clears throat> this is not the last Sunday uh, chat before Halloween. But this coming Friday will be the last Friday night live stream before Halloween, and I really wanted to make sure that I could uh, enjoy my Halloween pipe and Bela uh, during that that uh, live stream, and we'll talk more about that as well. Uh, so anyway, today, a week early, we're going to have Bela, we're going to wake him and have him rise from the crypt, uh, as has become a little bit of a tradition here. Unfortunately, just because of the way things have been, I do not have a special Halloween video for you this year. I do have my a decorated, <laughs> beautiful uh, Lugosi portrait that uh, my wife actually had commissioned for me. So I, I, thank you, darling. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get Bela out of his crypt, and uh, we can then go on to enjoy the uh, some haunted bookshop. And I'll tell you a bit about the pipe as we uh, dramatically reveal him. This is his coffin. He sleeps in this all year long. He went in this uh, the day after Halloween last year, and I have not opened it since. And I always worry a bit that I'm going to open it and, like, moths are going to fly out or something. But <laughs> I seriously have not opened this since the day after Halloween last year. Usually I open it the week before, and I'll smoke the pipe during the week. Um, usually, like, once a, once a day. Always Haunted Bookshop. And then it goes back in the coffin for another year. And this has been consistent for, gosh, I guess about ten years now. So anyway, let us uh, let us see what we've got here. Dun dun dun. You can see Bela's ensconced in his cloak, and he's got his buddy Igor next to him. So Igor is uh, a tamper, and it's a very special tamper that my friend Danny Shore made for me, and uh, he made it out of a bone that he found on the beach. Don't know what kind of bone that is. Don't care. It's just cool. Uh, so that is Igor the tamper that lives with Bela and is only used during the Halloween season. And here we go. There is my Halloween pipe. This is a Jesse Jones, uh, specially made for Halloween. And it is just a, a gorgeous pipe. Uh, it is briar. Um, looks more to ish, but it is briar. Uh, it's got this beautiful decorative skull band around the, the side there. Um, Jesse is, a, is an incredible pipe maker, and I actually got this through uh, luck. Um, when I was active on the Brothers Brothers of Briar form, long before I had any <clears throat> even knowledge of uh, the YouTube pipe community, they had a Halloween contest sort of thing where you had a it was sort of a murder mystery dinner type thing, but it was done online, and you had to figure out who who done it. And uh, <clears throat> I was the first to figure out who done it, and uh, this was the prize. So I'm very, uh, very happy that I was able to win it, and I just love this pipe. So let's get some haunted bookshop in it. I've got the deluxe luxury pouch here. I ha opened this on Friday and haven't had a chance to put it into the tub yet. So, but I do like joking with Everett and Andrew that this is my pocket pouch. would never fit in my pocket. In one of them fanny packs or something. I ain't doing that. Uh, so as I load this, yes, uh, Halloween, always, always love the Halloween season. Something about Halloween and pipe smoke can go together. I've never really been able to figure it out. Maybe it's just the fall weather and it's the fact that we're, what we're really celebrating is the change in season, fall, uh, and of course, there's all the religious aspects of Halloween and <clears throat> um, All Hallows Eve, All Souls Day, and then people will talk about pagan traditions and all that. But yeah, for me, it's it's more just about the season. And, uh, you know, it's fun to watch a spooky movie. I do it every Saturday night. One of the reasons I'm having such a lackluster day today is I stayed up late last night to watch um, Fiend Without a Face. Yeah, it's a good one. I did a double feature. I watched The House That Dripped Blood, 
courtesy of Creature Features. And then I watch Fiend Without a Face, uh, courtesy of Spengoolie. I've been I record Spengoolie and then watch it. Uh, it's supposed to be at ten o'clock on Saturdays, not at eight o'clock. So, but they've been doing double features for Halloween, so I've gotten to pick and choose what I what I'm going to watch. And last night was Fiend Without a Face, which might have been last week's. It doesn't matter. Let me get this lit. Oh, that's good. And Jesse makes a wonderful pipe. This was early on in his career, um, I believe. Um, if I remember correctly, Jesse learned pipe making. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say things that I'm not sure about. But I think he studied with uh, with uh, Premal Cheda, and learned uh, a lot from him, and maybe even worked in his shop for a while. Ah, don't don't take any of that too seriously. I I don't remember the history, but he's a heck of a nice guy. I never met him in person, but I got to interact with him on the Pipe Smokers forum, the Brothers of Briar forum, and uh, yeah, makes it make made a fantastic pipe back then. I can only imagine he's even better now. Yeah, so Halloween. <clears throat> I like to do, uh, and you've seen them in the past, I've got a playlist of Halloween videos. I, I try every year to do something special. <clears throat> I've done a lot of, uh, sorry, I'm a bit uh, bit frog in the throaty this morning. I, uh, I really love doing deep dives in some of the old Universal actors, and I've done one for Lugosi, one for Karloff, and one for Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Jr. I've done a deep dive into the Hammer Frankenstein franchise. I've always wanted to go back and do that for the Draculas. I've done a uh, dramatic reading of uh, uh, The Signalman. Uh, yeah, so I, I try to do something every year, but this year it's just crazy. You know, with um, I hate to blame things but you know my father-in-law's passing has been rough and uh not not um, i mean it was emotionally rough but not for that reason but just because of the way it's you know my wife is back in pittsburgh again she's now helping her mom clean up the house and stuff and you know there's just a lot of stuff that has to happen when someone passes and the, the leading up to that the time that he was ill and i was here alone she was there uh doing the good uh good deed of of, of helping helping her mom and, and helping him. Uh, yeah, just things fell behind. Work has suffered a bit. And this is the time of year when, when work uh, just ramps up like crazy because everybody wants something done before the end of the year. And I hit a big roadblock with work. I won't bore you with the details because you, most of you know I'm a scientist and I uh, do stuff that most people don't care about. Uh, but this, this analysis came along and, you know, I've been doing data analysis and statistics for you know, well over 40 years now. And I know, I know statistics better than most people do. I've, I've, I've written on statistics, published on it. Uh, it's, a, it's a hobby actually within my, my uh, work life. And we ran into a problem that I've never encountered. And I had to call in an expert, which I do because I don't want to make a mistake when it comes to statistics. So if I'm not sure, I always call on an expert. And the expert said, huh, that's an interesting problem. And he's been working on it. So well, he came up with a solution, but it's way outside of my area of expertise. So I've got to sort through this and try to understand it and then put it into a form that other people can understand it. And the whole time write code to do it so that they can just push a button and get the answer they need. This has been... This has been quite a, I mean, if this was the only thing I had to do, I'd be in my, my glory because I love this kind of stuff. But 
that sort of has distracted me from all the other stuff I'm supposed to be doing this time of year, and it's just getting overwhelming. Uh, so I wound up staying up far too late last night. I just need, I needed a day to just kind of decompress and stuff. I had a really busy morning, got a lot of house stuff done, picked up my car. So I finally have my car, and it even has a par working parking brake, so yeehaw. Uh, went grocery shopping, and then just sort of became a vegetable for the rest of the day. I just really needed that. Today, I had a whole list of chores that I was going to do this morning. Got up at uh, 6.30, so I overslept by half an hour, but Isabel got me up and let them out and stuff and, and all that. And I sat down in, in, in the chair uh, recliner and leaned back and thought, I'm just going to close my eyes for a little bit. I have the Google Home thing right there. I said, set, set an alarm for 7 a.m. And the next thing I knew, Isabel was barking at 9.30. So... You know, that has completely upset my schedule for today. And I've got to do work for tomorrow. I've got to actually do a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to get that analysis sorted. So, yeah, busy. I don't have time to make a Halloween video. That's what, I, that's what I've been babbling about here. And I'm sorry about that. I love making them. Uh, they actually don't get many views, which surprises me every year. This video that I'm making right now will get more views than if I made a video about Lon Chaney Jr. or something like that. I guess it's just a niche that not all pipe smokers enjoy. And that's okay. I don't make it for views. I make it because I, I enjoy doing it, and I know some of you enjoy watching them. But there won't be one this year. So, boy, I'm rambling. What I'm trying to get to is... This Friday night on the live stream, we're going to do something Halloween-y. I don't know what that's going to be. I thought maybe we'd watch a movie, but I don't think technically I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, I know it's doable. It's just having the time to sort it out. The biggest problem for me is audio. Um, getting the audio from the video to play into the live stream is not trivial, it turns out. Um, it can be, depending on your operating system, but on Linux, uh, the, the piping of the audio is not the same as on Windows and Mac, and it makes, that, that's the one thing that uh, has given me difficulty with Linux over the years. But I know it ultimately can be done. I just don't have the time to do it right now. So, we might do like some Halloween trivia or something. Might even do a giveaway. If I do, it'll be a surprise because I don't have time to sort that. Um, ahead of time. We might do a giveaway, maybe, maybe a, a pipe or something like that because I've got some, some estates and actually I've got a new, uh, a new Peterson, although it's, it's, a, it's an unusual shape. Maybe I, I could do this as a, as a trivia type thing. But trivia is always difficult because the timing is different. Like, I see the people's answers come in in a different order than the people see them come in. And then I got you know, got people saying, oh, I, I, I got in there first. And I feel bad about that. Don't know how to do that better. So we'll do something special on Friday. That's the bottom line. That's going to be the big Halloween extravaganza this year. Next week, I will try to do something on a Sunday, something like a maybe a poem or something. I, I don't know. But something halloween something spooky. And uh, other than that, i got work to do. Oh. Bela comes out a few days early. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. He'll go off and feast on the blood of the innocent. And uh, and I think this every year. It's a shame that this is a Halloween-only pipe because this thing smokes so well. And this, by the way, is one of 
one of two pipes that have never had anything in them but haunted bookshelf. The other one is my Max's Memorial Friday Seven Ellie. All the other ones are, you know, whatever I'm smoking, I put in it. But this one and and uh, that Seven Ellie are the only two that have only ever had haunted bookshelf in them. Hey, Big Dave, there's copious amounts of thick white smoke here. Uh, Big Dave loves copious amounts of thick white smoke. It's his words, not mine. Anyway, I have babbled endlessly here. Uh, the rest of my day is going to be work and uh, going to make dinner. That's, that's, that's what I got planned for the rest of today. So... With that, I am going to tie this up so that I can get to work and let you get off and hopefully enjoy your Sunday and uh, your week ahead. Try to get in the Halloween spirit, be a little, be a little kid again, enjoy the season, enjoy the fall weather, watch a spooky movie. If you got kids, introduce them to some of the classics. You know the. The original Dracula and Frankenstein and that sort of stuff. They're really not frightening movies. I mean, if, if you want a kid to watch a horror movie, you, you're not going to want him to watch something like, uh, you know, Friday the 13th or, or uh, the Chainsaw movies or anything like that. Get, get him to watch one of the old Universal movies. They'll eventually graduate into the blood and gore stuff, but the horror in true horror movies is more psychological than physical. And I think kids are better able to, to handle that. With that, my friends, I will draw this to a close. As I've already said, have a great Sunday and a week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.